previously on the Steve Saga. I can't believe it, guys. It's a gold Steve. It's not a yellow Steve. It's a gold Steve. Do you have someone else we could meet? It, you know, possibly someone that runs the area. I don't know. Oh, he's actually coming over here right now. Wait, wait, what are you talking? Who? Really? Whoa. Wait a second. Guys, if that's a gold Steve, then his leader is a diamond Steve? Villains aren't always so obviously cut and dry. Sometimes, it isn't simply just an evil looking monster that hates all things good deep down to the bone. Things can be complicated. All the more reason for me to find my friends. That's right, the gang's getting back together. Cause, well, this, this is the Steve Saga. Guys, it's a diamond Steve. This is insane. I, oh my gosh. Hi, nice to meet you. Who are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Take it easy. Okay. 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 Hey, uh, buddy. Hey. Ooh, okay. All right. Let's just move to the side. Come we're, on. We're, sorry, we're not here to cause any trouble. We're just travelers yeah. looking for some answers. Look, we're kind people. All right. Look, Gold Steve can be. Oh, where'd Gold Steve go? Okay. Uh, and he's gone. All right. Gold Steve, I think, is in the house and he doesn't. Okay. All right. Ooh. Okay. All right. Look, buddy. We're just friends, okay? We just want to talk. We ran into your buddy here, Gold Steve, and he he was just telling us how cool people we were. Right, guys? Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> uh -huh. That's what he said. Yeah, doing. so uh, why don't you put that away, huh? Why don't you put that sword away and talk to us like a normal, civilized person? I'm sure you seem cool enough. He never said anything about how cool you guys are. Okay, well. Oh, well, that's we a, just met. That kind of hurts. Yes, we've just met. You know, how could you have known? We were just talking to the guy and he was just going off about how cool we are. So why don't you put that sword away, buddy? Just uh, talk it out. Huh? I think we can all talk, right? I mean, you obviously can talk. So, you know, why don't we just do that? Why don't we just relax? You know, maybe... Watch the sunset together. You know, be tranquil. Be calm. Gold Steve, take cover! Wait, what? Wait, oh, what? Where's uh, he wait, going? Wait. Oh, oh, wait, wow, oh, come on, man. Oh, okay. and he locked himself. Okay, I don't think he trusts them. Okay. And they're in the corners. Yeah, they're okay. each in the corners just taking cover. So, guys, we have a problem. I don't know if you're aware of this. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but a Diamond Steve has just taken cover inside of this house because he thinks he's under attack by us. I don't know if you guys yeah. knew. We were here. We, we saw. Yeah, we okay. Saw it. So, any plans or thoughts on how to get him to come out of that house? I mean, we could just barge in there. You know, you guys down? I think that's a bad idea. Yeah, we outnumber them three. He has three a diamond sword, and yeah, we, he already does not trust us. We outnumber him three to two. I think we could do this. You know, we'll just, Guardian, you go in first, take the hit from the sword, and then we'll just jump him. I don't think that would contribute to us getting them to trust us more. That's a good call. Okay, so. I think it would have a reverse effect. Clearly doesn't trust us, and he seems to be the leader of these people. So how do we get the leader of these people to trust random strangers who just came into their world suspiciously? Huh? Any thoughts? Any ideas? Any plan? Um, My first option would be to just try and talk to him as communication is key in most situations. <sighs> Whoa, I did not think about that. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. That's good. You know what, Alex, up top. That was a good idea. That was a good thinking. That was a good thinking. I like that. Okay, yeah? Guardian, you down? Yep. Yes, I, I agree with Alex. All right, let's go talk to this guy. All right. Hey. Oh, hey there, Diamond Steve. Look, man, we're not trying to attack you, okay? Because if we were to attack you, think about it. There was three of us. We could have easily already captured that gold Steve and, uh, you know, I don't know, stolen his soul or whatever you're scared we're going to do. We could have easily done that already. So we didn't, for the record. So uh, why don't you come on out? Let's talk. We're just trying to figure out what's happening, okay? We're new here. That is true. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Uh, you, I mean, you obviously don't know if we have the ability to do that, and clearly we could just be still trying to trick you into doing that. No, no, what? Saber. What? Right, no. right, right. None of that. My bad, my bad. But w look, we just want to figure out... Okay? We just want to figure out what's going on 
in this area, okay? There's lightning happening, we're new here, and we just want to find some friends to help us understand better this world, okay? I mean, this area, this area, not this world, this area, mm -hmm. yes. Um, and it seems like you're a wise, knowledgeable, calm, and collected leader, though we were hoping that you could be the one to do that, huh? You know, you could put that diamond sword away, that lightning, we've been trying to figure that out too. Oh. Oh. Look. Okay. It kind of seems like we're after the same thing here, okay? Why don't you come on out and we'll talk? We just want to actually know what's happening in, the, in, this, in this area. Not this world. In this area. And yes. it would mean a lot if you could show us a little bit of trust. If you show us trust, we'll show you trust. Fine. But I still don't trust you. Okay. That's fine. Come on out. We'll go back out. Okay. We'll go back out here. We'll let that gold oh. Steve do his thing. Should, should you tell the gold Steve to not have to hide as much? Or is that, does, does that matter? Or I guess he's in his house. So, okay. Well, either way. He still way. doesn't trust us. He's probably going to stay in there. Okay. Well, Diamond Steve, I just want to introduce myself to you uh, formally here. I'm Saber. This is Alex. And this is the Guardian. So, nice. Nice to meet you. We're travelers. We've been traveling a long way. We have nothing but torches on us. So we don't have anything that could hurt you unless torches could hurt you for some reason. And if so, then we'll put them away immediately. Okay. We just want to know what's going on here. Okay. Why, if you have a civilization, why is this gold Steve way out here? All right. And where is the rest of everybody? Seems like it's just you two right now. And are you just, he said that you're coming right, you were coming right now. Are you just coming to check up on him? That's kind of, a, that's a kind thing for a leader to do. I, I agree. That is yeah. very thoughtful. So Gold Steve has told us basically a little to nothing about what's going on. So if you could just, you know, start from the bottom. Now we hear the whole team here. Uh, that'd be great. Any, any thoughts, any ideas, anything you want to get off your chest? Well, that's because we've been trying to figure out the lightning that happened over there. And I've sent this gold Steve to investigate. Oh, so this is like an outpost. Oh, that makes so much more sense. I was going to say, man, this is pretty random. So it's an outpost. Oh, this is right. Like Alex, like you were saying, this is where the snow stops, right? So this is the closest you guys wanted to get before it would probably be uncomfortable for the gold Steve to live. And he's just been keeping an eye on it. I gotta say, I just do want to tell you not to, not to just like, you know, tattle on the gold Steve, but he didn't seem to really care too much. I think he got a little lazy out here. I mean, we showed up three complete strangers that are nothing like you guys and he didn't question it at all. Did he? I don't even remember. Did he question at all what was happening? Uh, he did but he was willing to listen to us just like this leader is here. Okay, well then, I, uh, yeah, sure. He questioned some stuff, uh, but still he wasn't cautious. You might wanna, I don't think he has a weapon on him. Seriously, he, he, he's probably not too safe being this far out, but either way, not like I would know. <laughs> Alex, take over. Uh, hello. Um, as he said before, I'm Alex, not from the area. And, oh, there's some more. Yep, new, uh, yep, more lightning, yep. We're wondering where the rest of you are, if there are more of you. If there are more of you, of course. We're not trying to assume that there's a giant civilization or anything, but, I mean, if there's... Oh, they're in the village! Oh, oh. wow, okay, so there's there's literally just a village of, of, of other Steves, okay? Cool. Alex, um, a ask uh, about uh, why uh, this house is built out of ore. I yes. didn't really pay attention to that. Yeah, I mean, it's been killing me on the inside. Out, yeah, I'm very, okay, I'm actually very all curious. All right, could you explain why this outpost, whatever you'd like to call it, is made out of gold ore? It's completely made out, and then the front is actually made out of gold blocks. I mean, I, I know it's because the gold Steve lives here, but why specifically gold ore, you know? And gold out blocks. Of, out of all the blocks he could have used, why did he that yeah there's trees like literally right there could have made like a log cabin oh that's because gold steve can make anything with gold uh, what I, I, <laughs> wait what what as in like he can make it out of what's here or just have wait. it here if the gold steve can make anything with gold and he has gold blocks got gold ore and he's gold steve and you showed up and you took a diamond sword out does that mean that you can just make anything out of diamonds that is correct oh. uh guys can i talk to you real quick again i'm just gonna <laughs> Uh, Strangely yeah. makes logical sense. Uh, Diamond Steve, we, we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Guys, um, uh -huh. this is our way of completely getting out of here. I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, yeah, technically I could have made a machine to get us out of here, but it would have been really sketchy if we couldn't get a huge amount of power and the right blocks to do it. Um, and I wasn't going to say it, but Diamond was probably our best chance of actually getting out of here. If this Diamond Steve is willing to help us, then, well, all he has to do is just give us a bunch of Diamond blocks. 
They seem to have their own problems right now. I don't know if he's exactly going to be willing to just go out on a limb and help us. Oh, yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you guys have really put this together, but that lining is very much the cause of the entrance we took to get here. Yeah. Yeah, and uh... I'm guessing it's been like that even though we haven't been here just because there was already like an opening to get here. So they're investigating us. We're the reason. That's It's us. It's our fault. It's all on us. So should we... Right, well, it might not be wise to exactly tell him that directly. What if we tell him that we're also investigating it and we believe that we can close it? Technically, we can. If we leave this area, if, if he supplies us with the right blocks, like diamonds and all that, then we can properly get out of here. And once we leave the crystal, we can try and close it up. These people can live in complete peace now that we understand their society. Well, mostly, I guess. I mean, it's not like we have a complete understanding, but a little more. What do you guys think? Like, strike a deal? Like, we tell we them. We help him, he helps us, kind exactly. of. Exactly. We tell him that we are also trying to fix this place. And if he gives us the diamond blocks, we'll fix it. And we, we will, technically. I mean, as long as we can get out of here super cleanly, then it shouldn't get any worse. And once we're outside, then we just have to try and fix the crystal. That's easy, right? Yeah. That's sure. the easy part. Seems like a good idea, but I think we're going to have to approach this sort of delicate. He already doesn't trust us. He barely even had a conversation. You're right. And us just asking for diamonds out of nowhere is a bit suspicious. Um, okay, I think I know how to go about this. <clears throat> you guys trust me, right? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this. Oh, Diamond Steve. Hey, man. So, we've been talking, and we decided that it's time to come out with a complete 100% unfiltered truth. We... Uh, yeah. are from the village way uh, across the other side, on the other side of the tundra. I'm sure you guys haven't explored that far, right? So we are from that side. We've also been exploring and investigating the cause of that lightning, and we believe that we have a solution to fix it. And well, if you're willing to work with us, then we could probably put our both of our villages at peace. Wait, you came from over there? Yeah, well, way over there. We, we've been traveling for a long, 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 long time, and we didn't even know that there was other villages out this far so that's the full 100 unfiltered truth right guys uh okay now i really don't trust you wait wait wait, wait. no 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 it's okay diamond steve you you absolutely can trust us we we want to help our village is all about peace and and unity and making sure that everyone can live happily we're just trying to fix the lightning just like your village is okay i don't know why you don't trust us but it's fine. It's fine if you don't. We're still a little not trusting of you. And we we need to show mutual trust in order to be able to work together. I really hope this is working, guys, because I am running out. I am running out. So what do you say, Diamond Steve? If you help us with a couple of supplies, we can work together. Uh, fine. But the other Gold Steves can't see you. Why? Is it? Oh, it's probably because we look nothing like you guys. And so they'll probably just be terrified that there's people that are nowhere near like them coming into their village, completely changing their way of life. I completely understand. Um, um, and we respect that. We respect that. Okay, we will not go anywhere near the other gold Steves. Hey, wait a second. What do you mean the other gold Steves? Wait, are there other diamond Steves or how does that work? Sorry, I, I just that just kind of came to my head. Do you like is it mostly gold Steves? How come only gold Steves can't see us, but is our diamond Steves able to see us? What's the difference? Is there a difference in that? I noticed the gold Steve is like your subordinate. Is that is that how that works? Or if the gold Steves get strong enough, they upgrade to diamond Steves. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so if this gold Steve, if he works hard enough um, and he becomes strong enough, then in your society, he upgrades to a diamond Steve. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. All right, so you used to be a gold Steve yourself then, huh? Ah, okay, that's correct then. All right, well, either way, then fine. That means the gold Steves are the ones that'll probably get more terrified seeing us, and diamond Steves are more likely to be understanding, so that makes a lot well, more sense. I mean, this gold Steve seems to take it pretty well, but, but it, you probably know best. Actually, that's pretty true. This Gold Steve did take it well. But then again, this Gold Steve has been watching an outpost closest to the lightning, which is the most terrifying thing to their entire village. So pretty sure he's just been desensitized to the entire thing. Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, Diamond Steve, we will completely respect your wishes. We will not let any of the other Gold Steves see us as long as you're willing to work with us. I just need your help in constructing something in order to get rid of the lightning. So would you mind leading us to your village? Fine, okay. Well guys, looks like we finally found a solution to our problem. We'll follow you, Diamond Steve, right behind you. 